Hello guys uh, from New Zealand. So uh, we have got here an iPad which is um, A1709. Uh, uh, this, this one here, here which, which is, is iPad, iPad Pro 10.5 A1709. So, so the problem is, is we don't have any semantic diagram yet out for this iPad. So nothing available if you look here. So. 10.5 10 means mean. so, so we, we don't, don't have any semantic diagrams or board view available for this one. So now, when you have got this sort of electronic gadget where you don't have the semantic diagram, what to do in this case? So you have to use your general knowledge and your skills and your expertise to find out what the problem is. And this is what we will be doing and learning today. Um, so I have already tested the charging port on this one. My previous video was the charging port on this um, same model A1709 charging port. So um, this here is, I will show you here. So um, as I told you before, I have already tested the charging port. Charging port is all good, delivering the right current. So, so the next thing in the line is charging IC. So the charging IC. Uh, sorry. Okay. So the charging IC on this one is same as um, iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Um, before the 7 and 7 Plus uh, from iPhone 5, 5S, 5C, 6, 6 Plus, 6S and 6S Plus, the charging IC um, was 161083, which was uh, U4500. But this one, the charging IC on this one is 61083B, which is uh, same as iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So because we don't have any semantic diagram, so we will check here uh, what's the voltage coming out from the charging IC. And then we will come to know if something wrong. So on this one, guys, um, this the charging IC on um, this iPad 10.5H A1709 is uh, just behind where the battery connectors are. So there is a shield on top of this which is very hard soldered. So you have to remove it to access this charging IC here. So so we will measure some Fronts here and let's see if we are getting some voltage out of 61083B which is U4001 and turn on the multimeter as you can see and let's Red on the ground and then start looking from here. So what we have got. So we have got nothing here. And we have got nothing here. So we're getting nothing here and let me change, let me check if the charging port is all connected well. Because I'm not getting anything so. So we have got 1.8 volt here. So 
we have got something here 1.8 volt that's all good and 2.9 this must be 3 volt line so that's all good let's check here 5 volt that's right 2.9 that's all good see we have got nothing here so I can tell from my experience this caps cap here it should have something some and nothing here nothing here and nothing here so from my experience um, why it's not charging because uh, the charging IC has got some problem so even though I don't have any semantic diagrams available for this one but because of my experience and the charging port is all good and um, I should get some sort of current out of uh, these capacitors where I see there is no voltage nothing there so um, I think I have to replace the charging IC once the charging IC which is uh, 61083B U4001 and then after replacing the charging IC we will check we will measure the current again so let's do it so guys I have already kept on tape um, the IC and um, we will remove it now so I think you can see clearly now let's make it a little bit more Okay, so I will mark the orientation which is this side here and as usual we will put some plugs on it and setting the temperature. So let's take it out. This doesn't look like underfill, so should it come out easily. So make sure when you are heating it up and holding with the tweezer, hold it with a steady hands and don't pull it up just wait when the solder balls underneath are melted and just pull it out it should come out anytime now okay there you go nice and easy Oh, sorry, I bumped the camera. Anyway, the next thing I will be doing is so the next thing I will be doing it um, to clean these um, solder balls. As I told you before, I don't use solder bread on it. I rather just uh, put some flux on it and then with the tip of the soldering iron I will just uh, take the excess um, solder out of it and then just put new IC so I will just bring it more closer yep I think I should put it um, How about this? Okay, now I'll just do the microscope. We'll do the microscope. Okay.
it's very important to use the right plugs for right sort of work otherwise you know you may be end up pulling the pads So I'm just sort of removing the excess solder from here. So this is easy if you do it right way, if you have got the right equipment, right technique. Otherwise, you will be messing the things around. Oh, you can't see clearly. Let's me put you here. Okay. Yeah, that's better. So just thin them well, remove any excess, so you can see it looks pretty good to me. So we will get a um, new U4001 IC which is 610A3B this is same as uh, we will be oh come on don't shake this is the charging IC we will be using now on say 7 and 7 plus okay so Put it here. Looks okay. And I think it's better you look. Better view for you guys is this. You can see both microscope and So now this was, if I'm not wrong, orientation was this way here. Let's put it here. Nice and easy. So this type of accuracy guys you can only learn, you can only achieve first of all learning. You have to have a, you have to learn the basics and then keep practicing. Without not having the right techniques you, it's, it's very hard, it's difficult. So, anyway, so I will hold it. We are putting it back now. So just put it here. That looks right to me. And then okay. No, 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 no. I hate it when you know it's moved when you are ready to install it. Hate it. Anyway, that looks okay to me. So keep holding. 
So how long you have to hold it before you let it go? And then leave it. And then we will give it one more blow and after that if I'm happy and then we will so I think this is almost done and that's all done Ooh, I have seen this has moved which is not right. Anyway, we will fix it. So let it cool. Don't move the board while it's hot. So um, I will remove the captain tape. So guys, I have removed the captain tape and then give it a clean with isopropyl alcohol. So as you can see, it's all looking good, all clean. So now we will put it. Uh, back and then see if it has started charging or not so guys um, LCD connectors successfully done and um, let's see what we get here come on if it was charging port it should show me something yep see turned on but it's stuck on apple logo it's trying maybe the battery was totally flat there maybe that was the reason so anyway so anyway um, the low current it's trying it could be because I have connected it to a very long USB cable just to show you but I'm supposed that's all good so uh, we have uh, replaced successfully the charging IC on um, iPad Pro 10.5 inch A1970 and thanks for watching bye